Hi guys, today we're going to make a rainbow loom chunky rainbow heart bracelet. And I've got six colors I'm going to use. I'm using rainbow colors. And you want to start with the arrow pointed away from you, as always in rainbow loom tutorials, or at least most of the time. I'm going to start with red on the bottom. You're going to take your first bottom and make an upside down triangle. Then, now we're going to start our pattern. And you'll see that a pattern starts to emerge as we go. Make sure as you go, you press all of the bands down and make sure they're kind of stacked evenly on top of each other. Okay, so for our next one, we're going to start on the very bottom peg. And instead of going here like you normally do, you're going to go up here. So you're going to kind of go up the middle like that. So bottom peg up to here. Now take this and push it down again so it's evenly stacked on top and doesn't cross over. You're going to do the same from the bottom one to the top right. Also, push it down so it's nicely stacked but doesn't cross over the lower bands. Now what I'm going to do is cross over this way. So right here to the middle. Push down. Same goes here. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to move up one up from the one I was just at to here and then I'm going to go up this way. Up long like that. Push your bands down. Same source up to the top right. Push your bands down a little bit. Then now I'm going to go this way and this way. Cross over this way. Cross over this way. I always encourage you to pause as you go along with us each step until you get it because it can be difficult to keep up. So now I've completed my first color. I'm going to scoot down just a little bit and we're going to do the exact same pattern that we just did starting from the top of our red. So remember we start to the left, go up high. Start from the middle, go up high to the right. Then we cross one over here and then we cross one over here. You'll see the same pattern but again pause until you get comfortable with it. So again I'm starting now where I've finished off my last red in the middle, putting my yellow on, I'm going up there, lightly pressing down my band. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see. Now from the same spot, I'm going to go up and out to the right. And it's not this direct right, it's that long right. Now right to the left of the yellow center, I'm going to come in and cross over, make a crisscross here. I'm going to do the same over here and head on in there. I'm going to repeat this. So we just finished up here. We're moving up. One, starting in the center and up long to the top left. Push down lightly. Start in the center again. Go long up to the right. Push down. So I started here, I went long up here. Now I'm going to start right here and cross into here. Okay. From the left over to here. So you're seeing the same pattern. You're, you're seeing these long V's that go up and then kind of like wings that come down. We are on to our next color. I'm going to do pink for these. Start where I finished off at the yellow. Start in the middle. Go long up to the left. Push down lightly. Start in the middle. 
go long up to the right. Okay, I went along up there, so right below that, I'm going to start from out here and snap in. I went long up here, so now I'm starting in this middle one. Snap in right there. Okay, I'm going to do another pink. Start from the last, the top middle one, and create my V. Long up. Make my V up to the right. Now, I just finished up there, so I'm going to come down here and go into the middle. I finished off to that one, so now I'm going to go here and into the middle. We're going to keep doing this pattern. Now I'm going to switch to the blue. Now I've got my last color, purple, and you really want to watch in here what we're going to do. So I finished up right here with the green. I'm going to start there, go up with my V to the left, push it down just a little bit, go up my V to the right. Remember we start below the top V the next one down, so I'm going to come here and snap into the middle. Snap into the middle. I lost that one. Snap into the middle. Okay, so this is where it gets a little confusing. I'm going to zoom in to show you. We are not going to snap up here. We're just going to pop up right here when you're on your last one. I'm going to put one right there. Kind of push it down a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is from here go into here and from here go into here. Push down a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do now is put a cap band on. I'm going to take a red one because I'm going to have that be, it's going to hook back over here. And it's a different color than this purple so it'll be easier to kind of see. Push that down. A cap band is where you take your band, turn it to an affinity, and then double it over. And you put it on top of the loop right there. So that's your cap band. Okay, now we are all done placing the bands. It's time to use our hook and loop. I'm going to pull out, show you where we're at right now. This is how it looks, pacing away from you. We are going to turn it around and have that arrow that was pointed away from you now pointed towards you, pointed down. This will help in the hooking process. It's like a horseshoe. So you can get into these hooks and hook the bands. I'm zooming in tight so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to turn to the side so you can also see what we're doing. You want to Always, always, always make sure the, the band you hook in here goes to the one that it's sourced at. So this one right here is the first one we want to grab. It's our top band under these red. Make sure you can see. So I'm going in, putting my hook away from me. I'm going under the red cap band. I'm going to grab this one over here, the top one. Okay, look at that right there. Gently so you don't lose your cap band. Pop it off and put it over 
there. So, so the bottom band is also the top one. And you see how it pulls away? Now we're going to do the same over here. I'm going to go in under the red, grab my purple one. I'm going to do it this way. Grab my purple one from that side. Pull it over and out to the right. And see how this opens up? It's going the right direction. Now I'm going to grab the last one, the bottom one, hook it, and bring it up to the top. This to me was really confusing when I first did it, so I would pause between each of these steps so you get them right because, again, it's really confusing. Okay, so I finished off in here. Now I'm going to go over here and bring these in. It's almost like an A arch that I'm working with now versus the V. So over here on the left side, I'm going to push these up and show you. I'm going to go under these bands, find this one that's connected, it's the bottom band, grab it, pull it up, and bring it up here. There you go. I'm going to go to this other side, do the same thing. This is my bottom band over here. I'm going to go in. Grab that, pull it up, bring it up, put it over there. Okay, now we're going to start on, see that A right there? And then those the innards of the A's go out. So we're going to take that, put that up there, take the right side of the A, put it up there, go in the middle, bring it out to complete. So you can see the differentiation in this one. I'm going to go down and grab my green one at the bottom and bring it up to the center. Same goes over here. The right side, I grab my green on the bottom. I'm going to bring it up to here. Now I'm going to go back down to that center of that A, what looked like an A. If you look real closely in there, you can see those bands. I'm going down through the hoop, grabbing the top one, that top green one, which belongs over here. Gently lift it around and pull it over there. Okay? We're going to do the same. That, this band now is that bottom green one in here. I'm going to go in, find that green one at the bottom, lift it up, pull it out, go to the right. I want to start the left on the A, go up, the right on the A, go up, and the center, go out to the left, the right, go out to the right. I'm digging down into the bottom of my A. This band right here goes back to that center. Pull it out, bring it up. All right, same goes here. This is that band that's caught in the middle. It's going to go pick it up, bring it up to your A in the middle. There you go. Okay, remember we finished the top, now we go back down. Have to finish the center line of that A. And that's all the way down in there. And you want to make sure you get the right, you grab the right band. So, I'm going down in, grabbing that right band that belongs out here. Then your last band down in there. It's your last one. Pull that out to your right. Okay. We're going to keep doing the same pattern all the way up until the end.
All right, so when we finish off now, we're nearing the end, the same pattern. You take right up, your left up, yeah, make sure you grab the right one. Bring that one out to here and that one out to here. Okay, so here's how you're gonna finish it off. You're gonna go down here and grab the very bottom one, pull it up to here. Same goes for here, pull that out, put it all the way up to the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to finish off your bracelet. Take all your rubber bands here, push them up together, don't let them fall off or it'll fall apart. Take your hook, put it down, and all the way through like that. I'm gonna get you a red band that you're gonna bring in, pull through, like that. So you have it. Grab onto the band that's closest to you, bring the other one through, that's going to create a knot around all of those bands. Make sure it gets around all of those bands. Now we can take it off. Before we pull it off, I'm going to take a C-clip right here. C-clip, S-clip, any clip you want. Put it down here on the bottom so that doesn't come loose. But we're ready to pull this side off. You can take this hook right here to kind of help loosen it out. If that one doesn't work, I just pull it off like this. Okay, now we're pulling it off. Gently. So you don't break any of the bands. Okay, so see how we've got little kind of hearts going up a little bit? Now it's time to finish off our bracelet. You're going to start again with the arrow pointed away from you. I'm going to extend it with the red bands to make it comfortable around my wrist. And you can go anywhere from five to 10. Just pop that up. One. For the younger folks, it's usually about five bands. For the adults, eight to 10. Pop the red bands up. Now, again, that arrow is pointed away from you. We're turning it around towards you. Kind of a pattern here. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna take this off and wrap this around twice and put it on this hook right here, okay? See that? Now we're gonna go in with the hook away from us. Go in, grab the bottom, pull it through, bring it up. You're gonna do this all the way up till you're done. All right, you're gonna put your hook through the top so it doesn't fall apart, make sure. And now you can pull it off. There you go, push that out of the way. You're now going to attach it to your C-clip. All right, so there is your Pull it out. Your Rainbow Loom Chunky Heart Rainbow Bracelet 
We are making a lot of these. We'd love you to subscribe. It's on the top left corner of your screen. Just click on that box up there. Um, also, tell us what you'd like us to make. Comment below and uh, give us a like. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.